Hello Himo friends and welcome to this new video. Today I will expand on the Sotano topic which I already briefly introduced with some basic forms in the video, the first Sotano, which you may see linked in the video description and at the end of this video. Today we will see a couple of actions to land the Sotano, with some variations of them related to the different situations. All of the actions we are going to watch right now have something in common. They all start with a thrust in opposition to the opponent's sword be it on the inside or on the outside. In some of these actions, the thrust may be intentioned to hit, and the sotano is a follow-up attack, while in others the thrust is feinted, meant to stimulate the parry and steal time from the attacker. The first action we are going to watch right now follows this pattern. Thrust on the inside line with an opposition, and on the opponent's parry, reverse sotano toward the exposed arms. This action is good against all of those opponents which tend to parry high in a con or a corona position. The initial thrust, be it a real thrust or a feint, is meant to stimulate that reaction, so aim for the upper chest, the neck or the head. You are now in front of a decision. You can accelerate your thrust at maximum speed while trying to end the fight with it, while being ready to land the second attack only if the weapon gets displaced. Or you can either already prepare your action, let's say in a more measured way, using a feint and a different footwork. While going for the first option, you start thrusting at the opponent while stepping slash running at him with an opposition properly placed. Concentrate yourself in feeling through the blade if the action gets displaced or not. If the action gets displaced, charge your sotano with a big circle over the left shoulder and keep moving toward the opponent's right side while defending yourself with the blade positioned in a posto di donna sinestra quadrant. In this way, you defend yourself with movement, placement and also with your blade. If you want a lesser, let's say, explosive action instead, you can work out your action from a feint. Push your blade into an opposition and threaten the opponent in a realistic way. Here I suggest a more or less extended lunge depending from the situation as footwork. Then land your reverse sotano, always by doing it properly with a proper charging motion, while stepping forward and slightly sideways with the left foot in the meantime. Here, if everything is gone well till now, chances that you will receive a riposte which will be either from the right or from the left. Here you can see both the forms I used to parry those blows. If my opponent goes for a mandrito, posto di donna, if the opponent goes for a reverso, posto di finestra. Then I answer back with a blow on an open target. I either use a fendente or a mezzano, depending from what it feels comfortable and smart at the moment. Now, everything I have shown you till now can be easily done to land the mandrito sotano instead. But this time our action starts with a thrust on the outside line instead, with a crossed hand opposition, which is what I think Marozzo calls punta incrosada. In fact, this action follows one of his patterns. Here I personally find harder to use the cut as a follow-up against the parry while trying to land the thrust from the very beginning because the two sotani are radically different in terms of mechanics. The way they are charged and the space needed to do so are completely different. Nonetheless, I think it is definitely possible to land it while moving forward as in the first case I've shown you before, depending from the opponent and when the correct case arises. It is far easier instead to land it while feinting the thrust, as in the second example presented before. Again, we feint the thrust with a lunge of the front foot, and we charge the blow in a wide circle on our right. I'll probably do another video on the Mandrito Sotano because the form to charge it needs a bit of care to be executed properly. Anyway, as before, land the feinted thrust, this time on the outside line and with crossed hands, and uh, once you feel the parry of the opponent through the blade, do a sidestep while landing the sotano under the opponent's arms. As you are still in front of the opponent, you will most probably face a riposte of some sort. So be ready to parry. The parries are the same as before, just specular. If the opponent goes for a reverso, you parry it in posta di donna on your right. 
while if he goes for a mandrito you will parry in either posta di finestra or posta frontale on your left. From there you can land a blow of choice depending from what you feel comfortable and smart as before. So here we are, a couple of patterns to land your sotano which I generally use in sparring. I hope this video will help you, remember to consider helping the channel by either joining my Patreon community, link in the description, or through the new super thanks feature offered by YouTube which you can find down below. Thanks for watching as always and uh, see you next time.